Ribro banda le moshanda kuwira motswanda Na pali muzika sisu tosiko dini wacho dini wacho Three Mob Radio presents Ashaka Woma, Ashaka Woma Kukazira dola kufam 15 cents Ashaka Woma, Ashaka Woma Tryna make a dollar haro 15 cents Kevin Hansen is a creative guy who likes playing with different creative things. Um, I've done a lot of performing, uh, both in theater, film, TV stuff, and music as well. Uh, but then if I'm not uh, performing, I like being creative in terms of storytelling with uh, different formats. And, and one of them is audio, which we're doing at the moment. Um, I like the idea of... Uh, of, of stories, uh, but also I, uh, I've i done quite a lot of audio work before. I did. I used to work as an audio book producer in London for a couple of years, and um, and from there I learned, uh, I suppose, audio recording and editing skills. And um, so yeah, I guess there's a, there's a challenge um, technically in um, taking, you know, the voices when they're recorded, it's dry, there's nothing there, it's just a studio sound. So then after that, we need to create an ambience so it, it sounds like they're having a conversation um, in a church building or they're having a ch conversation in the, you know, on the side of the road. But really, uh, it's, it's, yeah, that's all built up. So that's the, yeah, that's the exciting part, I guess, the challenge of creating it. In, in, the important thing was that the series needed to sound authentically Zimbabwean. And uh, a lot of the kind of ambient sounds that are easily accessible on the internet and that sort of thing tend to be American or European or something like that. So I've needed to do some of my own recording around, my own sort of ambient recording around town. Uh, so there's been a bit of fun clandestinely uh, smuggling my microphone <laughs> into places. But I mean, I, I don't think anyone would have minded, but it's been, um, it's been fun to just, uh, yeah, to get out and to record uh, natural Zimbabwean sound. And that's been an interesting part of the process, I think. So that I hope the texture, the feeling of it is something authentic. Yeah, so I mean, the the topics uh, covered in the series, I think, are yeah, they're really relevant. And obviously, there's a the the whole issues of profits and uh, whether they are real or fake. Um, I think is really important. I think it's important that people have authentic. Um, I think it's important that people are critical uh, about whatever they do, and it's particularly uh, something like I guess church involvement. Uh, people should have a critical awareness about what's going on. And if it's authentic and real, that's wonderful and brilliant, you know. But if there's uh, something dodgy going on, then I think that's important to talk about and to come up with some real personal answers that, uh, that, um, that deal with that subject. Yeah. You know, I think, I think storytelling is really powerful. Um, there's a quote by Kenneth Burke that says, stories are equipment for living. And I think that's that's really true. And I think, um, you know, we all look to stories for answers to life, for answers to our problems. And I, and I think they're empowering. I think when people um, tell stories and tell um, meaningful stories uh, about real things, whether they're using comedy or horror or drama or soap opera, doesn't really matter. But if there's something genuine and substantial in the stories, I think that there is, um, I think that's really powerful. And I think it frees people to to tell their stories. And that's, I, th I think, I think we need more and more stories, you know, out of our, out of Zimbabwe, out of our country, because I think that, um, yeah, that evens the playing field, you know. And you just want to plug people though? What, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I think it's um yeah, I would just say I just encourage people to um to not be afraid of telling their stories, I think. Um and uh maybe afraid is not the right word, but uh but yeah, encourage people to tell their stories and also to develop the techniques of storytelling, because I think there are there are good ways of telling stories and there are bad ways of telling stories. And I think if you want your story to be taken seriously, I think there are techniques, proven techniques that have been developed over time that, um, 
that need to be studied and learned. And the better that they can do that, the more um, the better their stories will be, and the bigger the audience will be as well. Yeah. <laughs>